One of SoftPlan's many strengths is the ability to draw floor plans quickly by using a method of sketch and edit. Exterior walls are drawn by sketching their approximate lengths while relying on the tape measure in the status bar or the temporary dimensions that appear after the first exterior wall is drawn. Once the rough building shape is created, to gain an accurate floor plan, the dimensions shown are edited for exact lengths using the arrow keys to indicate which end of the wall to adjust. Although this method of sketch and edit is preferred, it is possible to initially draw walls at their desired lengths with accurate dimensions by relying on the keyboard input rather than sketching the floor plans using the mouse. This demonstration will show how the keyboard can be used to accurately draw the floor plan rather than relying on the sketch edit method. It should be noted that the left mouse button is represented by the home key, while the right mouse button, often used as a cancel, is represented by the end key. To start, select the desired wall and position the cursor within the drawing area to indicate the start point of the wall. We can now either hit the left mouse button or select the home key on the keyboard to anchor the start point once the wall's start point has been established, all further input will now be completed using the keyboard. To specify a wall length of 30 feet, type in 3, 0, feet. Keeping in mind, the minus key on the keyboard can be used to represent feet, while the plus key can be used to represent inches. Notice that the 30-foot length entered is also shown in the tape measure of the status bar. Next, select the right arrow key to indicate the direction for the wall to be drawn. Since we are now at the desired end point, we end the wall by selecting the home key on the keyboard. Because this is a surfaced wall, SoftPlan will need to know which side of the wall the surface is to be applied to. By selecting the up arrow key, the brick is placed on the appropriate side of the wall. To draw the next wall length at 20 feet, type in 2, 0, feet, and indicate a direction by selecting the down arrow key, and then end the wall by selecting the home key. The next wall is now drawn. Notice that the surface side of subsequent walls will assume to be on the same side as the first wall drawn. The third wall can be drawn by typing in 3, 0, feet, left arrow, home. The fourth and final wall is drawn by typing in 2, 0, feet, up arrow, home. At this point, we notice that the dimensions do not match the distances typed in. This is because Soplin will initially sketch a wall length along its midpoint while the dimensions for this brick wall are measuring to the outside edge of the brick. In order for the dimensions to match the values input by the keyboard, we need to specify that the wall's trace line will be the same edge that is being dimensioned to. To do this, select File, System Options, System Options, and from the Setup Options dialog, set the trace line position for exterior wall to outermost visible. With this now set, we can again use the keyboard to draw out an accurate floor plan. Select the desired wall and then click to indicate the start point for that wall. Then, using the keyboard, type in 3, 0, feet, right arrow, home, up arrow, 2, 0, feet, down arrow, home, 3, 0, feet, left arrow, home, 2, 0, feet, up arrow, home. The dimensions now shown match exactly as typed from the keyboard. The keyboard can also be used for precision with other tools. For example, if we want to move the rightmost wall over two feet, we can do so using the keyboard as follows. 
select Move from the right-click pop-up. Type in 2 feet right arrow home. The wall is then moved exactly 2 feet in the direction specified.